Oh, so you a vegan now? Hey, hey, hey. I'm sitting here chilling with my legs, you know, elevated, you know, feeling, feeling luxurious and, you know, just trying to, you know, feel good about life. Funny story. I'm a vegan now. A little surprising to me because I thought my natural progression was going to be, uh, well, I had been on a gluten-free diet for uh, about a year now. I had done it uh, years ago and it was cool. You know, I had gotten used to it, but then I started eating gluten again and started having some other digestive issues. So eventually I realized, you know what, let me just leave gluten alone and just go on with my, my, my business. Well, uh, maybe about a month ago, I started eating more vegetarian. So I thought, okay, well, I, there are many times where I can go about a week without eating any meat products or seafood at all. So then I started looking into more of the health benefits of becoming vegan. And um, I was also looking at how to balance the pH in the body and acidic versus alkaline um, conditions in the body. And I just decided, you know what? Let me try it, even if I'm 80 to 90% vegan. Um, but I honestly am at a point right now where I really don't crave meat. I've been eating, oh my God, I've been eating so good, y'all. I've been eating grapes, mangoes, bananas, plums, cucumber, all kinds of salad mixes, all kinds of watermelon. I got my watermelon water. I see why Beyonce invested in this company. This stuff is good. I have the cherry flavor now, but they have the regular um flavor and it's very good it's like it tastes just like you're eating a watermelon only you're not chewing you're you're drinking and this is naturally gluten-free and naturally vegan I don't feel deprived at all like you know you have that natural thought of, oh my gosh you're not eating meat products you're not eating any animal products at all you know things are going to be boring but it's really not I, I love I just happen to love salad I happen to love tomatoes and cucumbers and, and romaine lettuce and all that good stuff and I just decided that this is what I wanted to do. And yes, I am hoping that it does help with the inflammation I feel from the from the fibromyalgia and the endometriosis. But I also wanted to do it because I just want to eat better. I just want to eat better. I just, you know, you eat something sometimes and you just know, you just feel, you just feel it in your, in your spirit that it's not good, that, 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 like that, that was, that was unnecessary. I didn't have to do that. I had been feeling like that when eating a couple of things. And what was funny was I used to love chocolate and I still like chocolate a great deal, but I'm finding that I'm not craving chocolate like I used to. I'm not eating a lot of foolishness like I was. And because I remember when I was sick recently, I lost my appetite for everything and it was almost like my body was cleansing itself and it was just like you know what fresh fruits and vegetables I don't I don't want to do canned things anymore um, I don't want to do a lot of prepackaged things I don't want to do anything that's that's processed and I've been eating like this for maybe about a little over a week now just eating strictly fruits and vegetables no animal products and I really feel better in the sense that I feel better about what I'm putting in my body and I'm actually it's a it's a it's weird it's 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 a different level of enjoyment like I usually enjoy food very much but the taste I can actually you know taste things a little bit different my tastes have changed like all I want is fruits and vegetables and it feels really good so I just wanted to share that because it it was unexpected. I did not expect to just immediately go from being gluten-free to being vegan because now I'm gluten-free, soy-free, dairy-free, vegan. And what's also interesting is that you have to cross-check and cross-reference a lot of stuff because there are things that are gluten-free but they're not vegan or they're vegan but they're not gluten-free or they are gluten-free but they're not soy-free and with endometriosis we're really not supposed to have soy fibromyalgia gluten agitates fibromyalgia and also eating meat products produces an uh, acidic 
um, response in the body and it contributes to mucus um, production and all these are different things like, I'm learning so much I don't want to spew out too much because I don't want to give misinformation but um, just the things that I've been learning I am actually going to compile a list a playlist of videos that I'm watching that are contributing to my vegan lifestyle so that'll be available soon I'll be adding videos periodically It'll probably start with like five videos but then I'll add more videos as time goes on so if it's something that you want to do even if you do like a vegan cleanse for a week you know do something good for your body and reducing stress and letting go of toxic situations and all this stuff and faith and clarity the phone cut out on me again but um yeah i am enjoying this new journey there are some things going on where it's it's trucking along it's, it's moving slow but it's trucking along if you have any prayer requests or anything or any comments or any encouragement that you need hey hit a girl up hit me hit me up in the description box and all my little you know um contact doohickeys are in there so yeah live live better live live healthy you know do something good for yourself okay Love you guys. Bye.